Behind this fence, covered in barbed wire, is where the 104 survivors of the deadly shipwreck in the Mediterranean are being held. Suhaib Dar came all the way from the UK, hoping to find his brother at the facility. Go to the guys there in front, yeah, and show this picture. Suhaib's brother was among the hundreds of people aboard the boat, which sank last week. If he's not here, then I'm going to go and look at the dead bodies. I'm going to see if I could uh, find him there. But this is my last hope of him being alive. There are 12 Pakistanis among the survivors. Suhaib managed to speak with a couple of them from behind the fence. My brother was definitely on the ship with one of the guys that is here. He's confirmed it. They were sitting together. They ate together when they could. He, they survived and he never survived, so he must have gone into the water. This Egyptian family hasn't heard from their cousin in days. From across the fence, survivors tell them they don't recognize the man on the photo they show them. They give an account of what happened that night. There was a Coast Guard ship. It followed it for several hours. At one point, the Coast Guard sent ropes to help them. And then, for no apparent reason, the boat capsized. It flipped twice, and all of a sudden, everyone was in the water. It's unclear what caused the boat to capsize, but what is certain is that it came across several other ships along its route. This video was shot from a commercial ship. It shows the boat just hours before it sank. At the facility in Malacasa, information is sparse. Further to the south in Kalamata, close to where the shipwreck happened, families also came to search for their loved ones. Around 78 bodies have been recovered. This is where they were brought. I've been looking for my brother for three days. That's all I've been doing. No one's helping us. Some have given their DNA to help identify the bodies. They haven't been allowed to enter to see for themselves. Why you don't let the people see the dead people or the people in hospital or the people here in camp? I don't know. The Greek authorities have arrested nine survivors, all men from Egypt. They're facing charges of negligent manslaughter, exposing lives to danger, causing a shipwreck and human trafficking. They should appear before a judge in the coming days.